Yo, what is good guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green, Randomizer Wedlock. In the last episode, we defeated the Saffron City Gym and got our 6th Gym Badge, the Marsh Badge. And in this episode, we are going to be heading into the Cinnabar Mansion and taking on the Cinnabar, C Cinnabar Island Gym. It's not the Cinnabar City, it's always Cinnabar Island. We're going to take on the Cinnabar Island Gym, so... Yeah, as always guys, if you could leave a like at the start of the episode, or if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave a like. Uh, 35 likes would be awesome, so let's uh, hopefully get that stuff done. And, um, yeah, let's just get rolling, so... We'll see what's happening around Cinnabar Island. It's pretty small, so it won't take me like too long to explore or anything. I just want to see if there's like any items and stuff I'm missing out on, because there could be. You know, there always could be something you're missing out on. So, right you for Electrode. Um, I don't know if that's like your best trade. I guess because like Electrode's a lot faster. Been uh, in that for Tangle. That's actually kind of decent though. But as you know, it's not because Tang Tangle doesn't evolve in this game, so maybe you wouldn't want to do that. But yeah, the, uh, the Electrode for Pikachu, or Raichu, I guess that'd be okay. Or Raichu for Electrode, that'd be alright. But, uh, that's up to you, really, so... Anyway, uh, it seems like there's nothing on here, and this is where we give the guy our fossil to, uh, bring it back. But, uh, thing is, I've already got my Cinnabar Island encounter, so... Even if I get the Dome Fossil, uh, brought back to Kabuto, or brought back into being Kabuto, I can't use it, so... I guess I'll just give it to him and uh, never return for it because there's no point. And this person trades his ponies out for steel. Uh, that's kind of a decent enough trade too, I guess, because you get a you get a water type. <clears throat> you get a water type for nice at my stupid throat. What is why? Why does he keep doing that to me? It's actually really annoying. Uh, I don't know what's wrong, really. But anyway, Cinnabar this gym is quite the odd fellow. He lived in the island once. Okay. Anyway, this is Cinnabar uh, Mansion, or the Pokemon Mansion, and it doesn't mean we get a new encounter, so let's just uh, run around here and hopefully run into a wild Pokemon, there we go, and it is Registeel, which means I can't catch it, because it's a, uh, A, it's a legendary Pokemon, B, it's non-gender, so, Dodrio, that is our encounter, because I haven't caught any of the family of that yet, and I didn't kill it, which is good, and I'm... Um, yeah, I guess we'll try and get this thing, because the Dodrio, Dodrio is not bad. So, uh, great. Hopefully it won't be too annoying to catch. And, uh, hopefully we catch it soon, that'd be good. So, one... Alright, please stop that. Please just get caught, I, I really just want to catch you and move on. Alright, we're getting slowly closer and closer to catching it. One... I say that and we, we start to screw up a lot then. Okay, come on. One. Why is it why is this thing being so hard to catch? It's a Dodrio. I didn't I didn't think it'd be that hard to catch. But it's clearly putting up a fight of sorts, which sucks. So uh yeah, one, two, three. There we damn, that thing put up a fight though. Why? <laughs> I guess it's just showing its strength, but the last Pokemon I caught was Weedle, and that thing was nicknamed Nickel. And now we are going to be naming this thing Copper. So, oops, that's Q. Copper, Silent Q, in Copper Nuts. Copper, the, uh, the Dodrio. And now I need to heal up, so let me use a Lemonade. I need to get some, like, Hyper Potion stuff, but Lemonades are going to cut it eventually. But they're doing just fine right now, so, yeah. Ready is an escape rope. Um, I might just use that when I'm getting out of here because it does take like a decent amount of time. Oh, there's King Jersey in here. That would have been cool to catch. An awesome Pokemon to get. Uh, yeah. So this leads to a dead end, which a Kingdra would have been nice to have. Kingdra's a good Pokemon, and uh, there's also Registeel, which we saw already when we first came in. Let's see what else we can find, I guess. Unless there's, unless that's it, really. Anyway, take on this dude who has Ekans and uh, will Strength, and another Ekans that will Strength and Strength, and Eradicate, which uh, Strength and Rock Slide, and Strength again. And there we go. And I'm trying to get Neon up to level 44, so it's like equal with everybody else. Dodrio is faster than me, so I gotta switch and then run away, which is annoying. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, that's how much money we have, 100 grand. Nice, 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 and uh, nice amount of money we got there. 
Anyway, fresh water, and I will use a max repel. Because I'm tired of the wall Pokemon now already. I'm tired of them all already. I've seen what I need to see. And what I've seen is enough. Alright, upstairs we go. And I believe I just, uh... Well, let me go down here and grab all this stuff first before I start messing with any switches. So, there's his ink. And we'll go up this way and see what's happening over here. Blocked off. Uh, I'd go up to there. So, we'll grab that. And it's a calcium, so I guess you, I think you find like all the vitamins here, which is cool, I guess. Anyway, Diary July 5th, Guiana, South America. I totally said that wrong. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Okay, I definitely said that's not pronounced that way, is it? I would highly doubt it's pronounced that way. Curse my stupid pronunciation. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got Charmander, so Rock Slide, and Charmeleon, so we'll Rock Slide. And Neon doing pretty good. Alright, set upstairs. I know this just leads to a, a trainer battle, so take him on too with his nine tails and just destroy it with a single slide of rocks. Diary February 6th, Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Pokemon Mew 2. Okay. Interesting. So it seems like this is obviously the place where they conducted the like Mew 2 experiment and stuff. Which not obviously it is where it was done, so yeah. I know you guys probably knew that already, so there's no point in me, like, acting like you didn't. And, uh, yeah, I wanna just turn the switch real quick, or flip it real quick. So we can head over this way. And just another book. So July 10th, we christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Right, so I obviously read a bit too far ahead. And when I, uh, checked the book upstairs first by seeing that it was Mewtwo, um, actually, what's down that way again? I can't remember. I'm gonna just take a look. I probably should have done that. I forgot that place is even there, so... It's my bad. Uh, let's see. It's a dead end, really, so there's nothing. What a waste of my time and your time. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, turn the switch back on so we can head up this way, up the top. After spraying a repel, of course, because... Well, Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, we'll go up here. And... I'm gonna flip that switch in a second, but first you wanna come over and grab this iron. See, so yeah, we're pretty much just finding all like the vitamins and stuff. Uh, nothing over there. Okay, so we will flip this. And I can never remember. I'm gonna take the first one or the second one. I think it's the uh, second one. And I'm just gonna have to like rock slide all these things. That oh, one, crap. Yeah, this trend's doing all right actually when I think about it. So that's all right. And a Voltorb, uh, strength on that as well. Level 44, excellent. Still haven't learned Earthquake, which is kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. But I think that's everything up to level 44, so that's good. Team is very evenly trained, I think. Oh no, Helium's still level 42, okay. Um, right. Uh, okay. I guess we'll go with Helium and Hydrogen at the front. And then everything will be in around 44, so that's good. Uh, let's see what's down this staircase. I think it just leads to an item. Uh, at least, uh, yep, an item, and it is HP up, so, yeah, the vitamins. They're just everywhere. Oops, didn't mean to go back down, obviously, because there's nothing there. I think it's the first one. Yep, alright, sweet. So, take on this dude then with his electrode, uh, switch out into hydrogen really quick. And go for surf, because I don't need to earthquake it. Weezing, um, I kind of don't want to double because I don't know, like, if that thing wanted to, like, self-destruct, even though I know I could take it, but I, I don't want to risk that or anything, so, Garbos, and now we're down in the bottom floor, we're almost done here, actually, this is, like, near the end, so, that's good, and, oh, man, Heracross, that would have been awesome to get, I love Heracross, it's one of my favorite bug-type Pokemon, actually, it is my favorite bug-type Pokemon, so having one of those would've been sweet. But whatever, uh, we've got, uh, Dodrio first, so that's our encounter. Uh, Growlithe, uh, Wing Attack twice, and a Ponyta, uh, Fly, and Quick Attack. Alright, so let's see what's happening here. September 1st, Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Probably should sort that out. <laughs> Probably should sort that out. Something bad could happen, like, 
a mansion could get destroyed if you don't do that. If you don't sort if you don't sort that out. Okay, so up this way, uh, I think this guy is like coughings and wheezings. Probably it's Magnemite too. Yep, that's Magnemite. And I'll uh, surf. And he has Electrode, so I'm gonna double switch back into Hydrogen, Earthquake. There we go. And it was quick and painless. For that guy, at least. Uh, I don't think I flipped that switch yet, because I want to come up here and grab this. Team 14, Blizzard. A very powerful ice type move. So, yeah, definitely worth your while to uh, get that if you have a water type Pokemon that can learn it. As soon as you get Ice Beam. Ice Beam is the one I prefer because I prefer the accuracy. And anyway, this should be Solar Beam, right? Yep. Oh, it's the secret key. And then down here should be Solar Beam. Yep, there it is. Alright. Most powerful grass type move. Well, that anything but a starter can learn, so if you have a grass type that wants to learn Solar Beam, or can learn Solar Beam, go ahead and do that. Anyway, I am just going to cheap out and uh, use an escape rope to get out of here because I don't really want to stay here any longer, so there we go. Cheap and effective way out. And uh, now we will take on the gym, so I need to go heal and uh, get myself ready, so... I think I don't need to level up anymore, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm actually super confident with my levels, actually, in regards to the gym. So, yeah, we'll just see what these guys have to say, did they say anything important or give us anything, because I don't remember, I don't think so. Well, this guy's not saying anything important to me, and uh, neither is this guy, so, yeah, I don't care about your uh, stupid words that don't mean anything to me right now, at all. Okay, so, uh... Yo, champ in the making, the hothead Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Down the spirits of water. You better take some burn heals too. Yeah, okay. I have no I think I have burn heals already, so. Okay, uh. So the way through this gym is you can either take these trainers on or do the quiz at the side, or if you get the question wrong in the quiz, you have to fight the trainer. Uh, but I guess we'll just uh, take on the trainers regardless. I probably should have done the quiz first now that I think about it. That did absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, okay. So, I probably should have done the quiz question first, because that's going to open up the door now anyway. But, uh, the quiz is... Pokemon quiz, get it right. Yep, okay. Yes, yes, okay, here we go. Caterpie evolves into Metapod, yes. So, there's your first question, absolutely easy. The questions are generally easy, so... It's just general knowledge, general knowledge, salute. And, uh, just stole that from High Metro Mother. Um... <laughs> The nice salute to the generals, to the majors, to the colonels, to everything. There are nine league badges. No, there's eight. This is where you get to actually avoid two trainers if you want, but as I mentioned, we want to take them all on. So let's deal with them. Alright, fly. How do. Vulpix, man, just skillfully dodging my fly. Like every one of them, just dodging it so well. And nine tails. Uh, yeah, because we're level 44 now, we're just gonna earthquake. And level 47. I can't remember what Blaine's highest level Pokemon is. Uh, I'm gonna swap my team around. We're gonna go Beryllium and Oxygen, because I just wanted to get Helium to level 44 for the gym. Just in the off chance I need it. And, uh, yeah, let's see. So we got Ponytail. We're gonna go for Water Pulse. Charmander. Uh, Water Pulse. Volvix, Water Pulse. And Attract. Um. Nah, I like Refresh and Recover. I don't really use them, but they are more than likely to come in handy more than more than that, so more than Attract. Alright, so let's see. Get it right, here we go. Polywag evolves two times. Uh, technically it does, but in this game it doesn't. Well, it does, I think, if you like, get past the after game, but as of now, it should only evolve uh, twice, so no. Yeah, it does evolve into Politoed, but I don't think that, like, actually, I, I, actually, Polywag evolved, I guess the way they phrased it, like, Polywag evolved once, because it evolves into Poliwhirl, and Poliwhirl evolves into the other two, so, I don't know. Anyway, and actually, no, that's not right, yeah, it's two times, because it's one or either. Uh, it's like either Poliwrath or Politoed, you don't go from Politoed to Poliwrath or Poliwrath to Politoed, so, yeah, I guess that question's right. It's uh, just my stupidity and misinterpretation of the question that uh, made it sound stupid when it wasn't. Alright, so Pokemon Quiz, get it right. Yeah, 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 I know. So, 
Uh, Pokemon of the same kind, yep. That's true. And then this guy, we just have to battle him. So, Vulpix and Growlithe just get destroyed. I don't know if I can take things on with my, um, with my Persian. It has Dig, but I don't know if that's strong enough. Uh, get it right for your trainer if you want to conserve your- yeah, okay. Team 28 contains Tombstone-y, uh, no. It actually contains the Tombstone pile driver, but <laughs> it doesn't even contain that, because that's just the Undertaker. Undertaker's wrestling move, so he's finisher. Nice Tombstone pile driver. And, uh, that is Blaine, so what I'm going to do is go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then take on Blaine. This episode's going to be kind of short by the looks of it. Really depends on how long it takes me to take on Blaine, or how long it takes me to, to lose or beat Blaine. Because Sabrina took me like seven minutes, I think. And like four of the minutes was getting to the gym leader, was getting to her, so. Yeah, we'll have to see how we do, but. I'm pretty confident how my team is structured that we should be able to defeat it. I don't know who I'm gonna go with, though. Let me just look at my team real quick. I kind of want Neon and Magnesium to do it, because they haven't had a gym yet. Uh, yeah, I think... But then there's, like, special attacks, and that's going to wreck Neon and Magnesium. At least Beryllium can take some special Fire-type moves. Uh... Yeah, it's a tough choice. I li I'd like them to have a gym. Where they actually, like... Because they haven't done any. It's really been these two. Or these two. Um... Hmm... Yeah, every gym has been hydrogen or helium or beryllium and oxygen. I think we're gonna give Neon and Magnesium a shot here. Could be a bad decision, could be a good decision, we'll see. I have a feeling it may be bad. Because I think some of them may use Solar Beam. Which, no, 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 that's that that's not what we're doing, we're going with Beryllium. Yeah, I, I have to think I have to think about this logically, and that is not logical thinking. I just because they haven't done a gym yet doesn't mean they haven't contributed or contributed to the series. So we won't go with those two. We'll go with beryllium and oxygen because um, who knows what these uh, fire types are gonna pull out on me? So yeah, I'd rather uh, rather be safe than sorry. Ha! I am Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have a burn heal. I do, I do, I do have some, I think. I also have some Rossberries, so... I am pretty much prepped for you, uh, Blaine. So Blaine is going to lead off with his Growlithe. It's up 42, so... Yeah, that's high leveled. Um... <laughs> what we'll do is just go for a Water Pulse on it. We actually outspeed it, which is great. And again, I think he has like two Growlits, a Ponyta, and a Arcanine. At least that's what I think he has. I'm sure he has an Arcanine. Uh, he's gonna go into his Ponyta, so he does have a Ponyta. Does he have Nine Tails actually instead? Or does he have uh, Growlithe, Ponyta, Rapidash, and Arcanine? I don't know, but either way, I am just destroying him with single water pulses. And, uh, next up we have Rapidash. Who's up Rapidash? And his last Pokemon is Arcanine, so... Rapidash is level 42 as well. All I'll do is Hydro Pump this, because it's a bigger threat. Even though I'm pretty sure Water Pulse may have killed it anyway. Just overkill it with Hydro Pump. And, um... Again, I... Maybe should have went with my, uh... With my Donvan and my, uh, Swallow, but... Finally on his team is Arcanine. Arcanine's level 47, so hey... Nobody can say I'm overleveled, I'm actually at the exact same level. And we go for a Hydro Pump, and that is hopefully going to knock out the Arcanine. Yes, it does. Alright, sweet. There we go. We have defeated Blaine with uh, Water Pulse and Hydro Pump. Wasn't overleveled or anything, I was actually at the same level. And we've got ourselves a Volcano Badge. Excellent. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this, too. Let's give this Team 38. And TM38 contains Fire Blast, the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on a water Pokemon. Yeah, if a water Pokemon could learn it, I'm sure I... Actually, there is some that can teach you, like Gyarados can learn it. And uh, there's a lot of other things that can learn a Fire Blast that are water types. So, I guess I could have done that, but... 
Anyway, now that we defeated the gym, I think it's about time we left. And I have pretty much conquered everything in here, so... Seven badges. Hey! If it isn't Stu, look, it's me, Bill, long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? There's this little island on the south called... Or on the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming with me? Uh... Yes, I do, but I feel like uh, we'll be doing that in the next episode. We'll do all that uh, island junk, because there's a lot of stuff on that island. There's a lot of stuff to do over there, so... Yeah, we'll just take a look at the Dojo that we caught. The one that refused to get caught for a little bit. And, oops, didn't mean to press deposit, but to use, uh, move. So let's take a look at this thing. Look at this art box so far, uh... You see a lot of threats. You see a lot of, uh... Not threats, such as probably this guy here, but Nickel's gonna be the- Nickel's the future. Uh, <laughs> take a look at Copper. Lonely Nature, uh, that sucks. Actually, this is- no, Lonely Nature's not bad. I mean, it's plus attack, minus defense, but still not all that great. Pursuit, try attack Rage, and, uh, Fury Attack. Looking alright. Got nice speed, nice attack. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with that Dodrio. And, like, I wanna see how many Pokemon we have, so... Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen males. And one, two, three, four, four. Oh, wow. We are totally at a mismatch when it comes to, uh, numbers for having to replace stuff but anyway guys with all this and done i'm gonna wrap it up here if you enjoyed the episode it'd be great if you could leave a like 35 likes is what we're looking for so if we could get that i'd be insanely happy and um yeah next time we'll be heading over to the savvy island so with all this and done i thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys next time so see you guys then